Hi, welcome to class. If you always wanted to try out yoga or if you have already started practicing yoga regularly and you just want to practice at home, this is the video for you. We will do a slower paced practice more targeted towards beginners and we will work on our back bends today. All you need is your mat and also grab a strap or a belt. Let's begin. Let's begin on our back in half Shavasana. The feet are on the ground, knees are bent. Just lay on your back, close your eyes. Extend your arms out to the sides, palms facing upwards. Take a moment to arrive. Take a moment to center yourself. Take a few deep breaths. Just notice what is touching the ground, what is having contact with the mat, how is your body feeling today. And then start to feel, notice the breath a little bit more without controlling anything, just feel. Slowly start to manipulate your breath. Let your inhale be a little bit slower. Maybe add a pause at the top of your inhale. And then nice and slow exhale, let that air all go again. Find your own rhythm of the breath. And let that rhythm, let that breath guide you through your practice. Keep that breath going. When you're ready, lift your feet up off the ground, bring your knees together, and bring your legs all the way over to the right side, all the way down to the ground. Extend your left arm away from you. It doesn't matter if the left shoulder is touching the ground or not. Just feeling in the body, warming up the spine, moving in different directions. Use your right hand, bring your legs back to center, and then over to the left. The knees all the way down. Extend your right arm away from you. Relax and breathe into that twist, into that sensation in your spine. Slowly come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Rock forward and back just a little bit. And then come up to both posts. The shins are parallel to the ground. If you want, you can straighten the legs. Reach the arms forward. Pull the shoulders back. The spine is nice and long. Whenever this is too much for you, especially on your lower back, feel free to just set the heels down like this and stay here. Otherwise, if you want to continue, extend the right leg forward, keep the left shin where it's at, lower down to like a modified half boat. The shoulders are still lifted and then come back up. Lower down, other side. Come back up. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7. Move nice and slow. Take that momentum out of your movements, add more control. Four, three, two, and one. Come back up, one more deep breath in. Exhale, cross your ankles, roll over the knees. Find tabletop, come onto all fours, the shoulders are right above the wrists. The hips above the knees, come onto your toes, send the hips back, stretch out the feet. 
Externally rotate the arms, keep your arms straight, and then move forward as far as you can with your shoulders so that you feel your wrists. And move back, hips to the heels. Move forward, stretch the wrists, and back. Forward, back to neutral. Now keep the fingertips on the ground, and then lift the hands up so you're tenting up the palm or the fingers, and then come back down. Lift, lower down. If you want more, then shift more weight forward over your wrists. We're going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sit onto your heels, shake out the wrists. Try to stay on your toes so we're stretching out the feet. And then bring the palms together. And interlace your hands, reach your arms forward around your back. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Pull the hands down towards the ground, off the heart forward. Inhale, hands to the heart, two more rounds. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, interlace behind the back. Inhale, hands to the heart, one more round. And lift your knees up, come into a squat. Straighten your legs, forward fold. Keep your legs a little bit bent for now, just fold forward and down. Let your upper body and your head hang heavy. Interlace your hands behind your back. Move your arms and hands up and over your head. Maybe tuck the chin to the chest a little bit more. Maybe straighten your legs now. A little bit more as well. Internally rotate the thighs, so we're creating more space in our lower back. Release the hands down, bend your knees a lot. Roll up through the spine to standing. Arms lift, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. On your exhale, walk the hands forward for downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of our practice. So keep the legs bent for now. Move your chest towards the thighs. Externally rotate the arms and grip with your fingertips into the mat as well. What we're looking for here in this pose is opening your shoulders and opening our back. And if you start to straighten your legs, you also might open your hamstrings a little bit more. But the heels do not have to touch the ground, no one cares. Hide your heels behind the ankles. Look towards the end of your mat. On your inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Push the ground away. Tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Move the shoulders together. Draw them together and then drag them also back towards the toes. Feel that space between the shoulder blades and that space wants to reach up towards the ceiling. Move your hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more time, forward plank pose. Set the knees down, shift forward, bend your arms, chaturanga. Lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes, inhale, lift the chest up. Lift your hands up as well, fly your arms back like airplane arms, and then interlace your hands behind your back. Lift your chest up and release everything down. Press back, hips to the heels, child's pose. You can always come into this position throughout this practice and find downward facing dog again. Take a deep breath in, right leg up and back. Bend your right knee, stack your hips, come high onto your left toes. Exhale, right knee to the right triceps, hold it there, and then step the right foot outside the right hand. 
Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Find a twist in your upper body more than reaching the arm back. Externally rotate your left arm and your right arm. And then bring your left knee down to the ground. Move your hips forward and down. Bring your right hand on top of your right knee. And then bend your left knee. Maybe move the left knee back. Reach for your left foot. Grab the foot with your hand or with a strap or a belt around it. And then extend your left leg away from you so that you feel that pull on your right shoulder. Engage your glutes, move the hips forward and down. Maybe look over the right shoulder, find that twist, that back bend. So much going on in this pose. And then softly, gently, slowly relax the left thigh. And then pull your left foot towards your hips. Now we're stretching the left thigh, the quad. And release down. Heel toe the right foot to the middle of the mat. Bring your left heel down. Rise up for warrior two, uh, warrior one. Reach your arms up and over your head. Keep the right knee nice and bent so that you can see the right big toe inside the right thigh, inside the right knee. And that helps to have the right thigh track the same direction as the right foot. Fingertips are reaching up nice and active. If this is not comfortable for your left knee, then lift the left heel up and take crest and lunge instead. We're here for two or three more breaths. On your exhale, spider lunge to your left, bend your left knee straight in the right, skandasana. If the left heel lifts up, then just lift your hips up higher and bring the heel down to the ground. Maybe it looks like this. Over to the right side. Over to the left. Back to the front, runner's lunge. Bring your left knee down, untuck your left toes. Rise up for low lunge, interlace your hands behind the back. Move the chest forward and up, engage your glutes. Move the hips down. And then reach your hands towards your left heel. Soften the breath down. And release. Left hand to the mat. Lift your left knee up. Right arm is reaching up. Come onto the knife edge of both feet. And then slowly straighten the right leg so that you feel maybe a stretch in the outer right hip. Again, externally rotate both arms. Feel free to stay here or stack your feet for side plank. Press into your left palm, lift your left hip up even higher and rotate the right hip forward so we're coming out of this twist. Oftentimes the body tends to twist a little bit in this one. Release the right hand down, plank pose. You decide knees up or down, shift forward, bend your arms, chaturanga, hold three, two elbows over the wrists and lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, bring your hands underneath your shoulders or a little bit more forward and then lift the chest up, press into your palms, cobra pose. Relax the shoulders down the back. Look straight ahead, engage your glutes. The elbows are touching the rib cage. And relax down. Bring your palms underneath your hand and your palms on the ground, hands underneath the shoulders. Come onto your toes and maybe lift the knees up and the hips up and then press up. Plank pose to downward dog. Inhale, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, stack your hips. 
Inhale, come high onto your right toes. Exhale, left knee to the nose and to the left triceps. Flex the left foot, step it outside the left hand. Reach your left arm up and find that twist. Relax the right knee down. Move your hips forward and down. Bring your hand on top of your left knee. Bend your right knee. Reach with your left hand towards the right foot. Extend the right leg away from you. Feel that pull on the left shoulder. Maybe use a strap or a belt here. And then relax, pull the right foot towards the hips. And release. Heel toe the left foot to the middle of the mat for warrior one. Right heel down, bend your left knee, rise up. Fingertips are nice and active, reaching up towards the ceiling. Again, if this is too much for your right knee, lift the right heel up for crescent lunge variation. Again, the left thigh tracking the same direction as the left foot. Two more breaths. And exhale, spider lunge to the right and to the left. One more time to the right. Move to the front, runner's lunge, and then low lunge, right knee down to the ground. Interlace your hands behind the back, off the heart forward. Move your hands towards your right heel. Maybe bring the head backwards. And release. Right hand down, lift the right knee up, come to the knife edge of both feet. Left arm is reaching up, gently start to straighten your left leg. Breathe into that sensation in your left outer hip. Feel free to stay or if you want, side plank on the right. For three more breaths. Exhale, left hand down, plank pose. Knees up or down, you decide, shift forward, bend your arms, chaturanga, hold it there for three, two, one, lower all the way down, extend your arms out to the sides, untuck your toes, inhale, lift everything up, the thighs, the chest, the feet, everything lifts, engage your glutes, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift up even higher, press your hips into the ground, one more deep breath in. Exhale, release everything down. Plant your hands, straighten your arms, push up to upward facing dog. So the only thing that's touching the mat is your hands and the tops of your feet. Engage your glutes as much as you can to protect your lower back. Pull the shoulders back, move the chest forward. One more deep breath in. Exhale, downward dog. And make your way to the top of the mat. Walk the hands forward, add the feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold and down. Roll up through the spine to standing. Arms reach up. Bend your knees, chair pose. 
Keep the feet and the knees apart. Tuck your tailbone. Pull the lower belly in. Find more length in your lower back. And then reach your arms up even higher. Externally rotate the arms. Maybe the palms are facing upwards. For five, four, three, two, one. Lift your heels up. For five, four, three, two, one. Squat all the way down. Sit down. Bring the feet together for butterfly. Grab your feet or use a strap if you cannot grab the feet and then move the chest forward first and then down and round. Tuck your chin to the chest. We find maximum flexion here in our back. Lengthening the entire fascia line in the back side of our body. Imagine you're curling into a little ball. Keep that breath nice and soft, really important to breathe nice and soft and controlled. Slowly release. Bring the feet down to the ground and slowly come onto your back. Let's do bridge pose. Bring the heels close to your hips. And then press into your heels, lift your shoulder, uh, lift your hips up. Keep the shoulder blades on the ground. Maybe squeeze them together, lift your hips up even higher, press into your heels, and slowly drag the heels towards the shoulders, so we're recruiting the back side of the body even more. Try to eliminate that back bend here and recruit your glutes more. So tuck your tailbone a little bit and then lift your hips up even higher. Flex your butt. If you want, interlace your hands behind your back. Let's hold this for 10, 9, 8. Lift up even higher. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower all the way down. Reach your arms up and over your head. Lift your heels. Roll down through the spine. Hips come down last. Bring the feet together. Open the knees up to the sides. Supta Baddha Kanasana. Bring your hands to the sides, palms facing upwards, close your eyes. Fully relax your body, let your body melt into the ground. Let go of anything you're still holding on to. Chances are you don't need it in this moment. And maybe you don't need it anymore at all. Everything else can wait. Now it's time to focus on yourself. Let go. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm without controlling anything. Give yourself a few minutes in this pose. Feel free to extend the legs forward if this is uncomfortable for you. The video will just end here. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.